This is the intersection of Wall Street and Broad in Lower Manhattan. Every day, thousands of tourists walk down the cobblestone streets to get a glimpse of the New York Stock Exchange, or to get their picture taken with the statue of George Washington. But few realize that nearly a century ago, one of the most violent acts of terrorism in the history of the United States occurred in this exact spot. At noon on Thursday, September 16, 1920, a horse-drawn wagon loaded with 100 pounds of dynamite pulled up along the north side of the J.P. Morgan headquarters. Moments later, the wagon exploded into the unassuming crowd. The dynamite had been packed with 500 pounds of cast iron slugs, creating a deadly spray of scalding shrapnel. 38 people died. Hundreds more were injured. The attack on Wall Street would be known as the deadliest terrorist attack on American soil until the Oklahoma City bombing in 1995. The next day, the Bureau of Investigation announced they'd found flyers signed by the American anarchist fighters. The message promised deadly retaliation if certain political prisoners were not released. The prisoners in question were believed to be these men, Bartolomeo Vanzetti and Nicola Sacco, both known Italian anarchists who, earlier that year, had been arrested for murder during an armed robbery in Massachusetts. An investigation began, but three years later, it was closed. No one was ever charged. Some historians believe Mario Buda, a close associate of Sacco and Vanzetti, may have planted the bomb. Buda was in New York the day of the bombing, but sailed to Italy days later, where he remained until his death in 1963. The case remains unsolved. The location of the attack suggests a central target was the J.P. Morgan Bank and the captains of finance who worked inside. In that regard, it failed. The victims were mostly working-class New Yorkers, clerks, messengers, women, and even children. But acts of heroism prevailed. After being mildly injured by the blast, a 17-year-old office boy from Brooklyn stole a parked car and drove more than 30 wounded people to a nearby hospital, making four trips in all before returning the vehicle to the police. Today, physical evidence of the attack's destruction still exists on Wall Street. Pock marks caused by the flying shrapnel pepper the north side of the J.P. Morgan building. The company refused to have them repaired as an act of defiance against the terrorists. The deadly attack may be largely forgotten, but its legacy remains frozen in the shadow of the New York Stock Exchange. At a very bad day, an asteroid more than six miles wide smashed into the Earth and wiped out almost all life on the planet.